Firstly, we have one government at a time. The People's National Party is not the government. The whole question of whether somebody supports the Prime Minister and will vote with the government side or not is a real issue for somebody who, up until now, was a strident supporter of the Prime Minister. And there's no reason for suspecting that he is no longer that. And under our constitutional arrangements, it does not matter whether you're a JLP or a PNP or what any P. What matters is whether you support the government's principles and programs and will vote with the Prime Minister on matters. That's what makes you a government MP. I wish to bring to your attention all of Jamaica, the need to revisit a provision which allows for two members of the lower house, Senate uh, member Golden and member Cousins, two members of the lower house, neither of whom come from the parishes of St. James, Westmoreland or Hanover, which is the epicenter of the problem that we face today. So two members of the lower house voted against these resolutions. Two. Uh, Senator Samuda, would you allow me? Two members of the lower house voted against the state of emergency. And as a consequence, of a particular provision in our constitution, the matter came to the Senate and required one vote. In the upshot, three unelected members of this House have voted against this resolution. No account has been taken of the elected representatives from Hanover St. James and Westmoreland, all of whom supported the state of emergency. Where is that an expression of democracy? Three unelected, three, not even eight of them, three unelected members of this Senate have put the security of this nation on a knife's edge. every member of this country, every citizen of this country, and those who reside beyond our shores. You tell me, there are 63 members of parliament, two of them, neither of whom, I think one of them represents an era under the state of emergency. Two members of the lower house voted against this resolution. Two, and three unelected members Senator Crawford, who is the only one who has remained here, Senator Bunting, and Senator Morris, none of them who have anything to do with the parishes and the divisions where crime is making our citizens' life a nightmare. So, the clerk is looking at me and telling me perhaps not to say it. But let me tell you something. This country needs to revisit this provision because it flies it flies it flies in the face of everything that is sensible and for those of you who don't know why this provision is here and why it is Senator Brown and Senator Bunting continue to call the name of the right Honorable Edward Siaga. That provision was put here because of the illegal, corrupt 1976 state of emergency. Now I am calling, I, Tom Tavares Finson, the President of the Senate, I am calling on the head of the churches, I'm calling on civic organizations, I'm calling on the um, business community, the PSOJ, I'm calling on every sensible Jamaican to look at what has happened to here today and listen to me as I finally say, 
two members of parliament, not the entire opposition caucus, two and three unelected members of this Senate have put this country in grave danger.